What's going on guys? It's gonna be a pretty interesting video today. I don't know if any of y'all have ever had the, the need to make oil cloth. Uh, you've probably seen the hats, the round brim hats that look almost like they're greasy, but they'll be water resistant, waterproof. And usually they're made with wax, uh, different oils and stuff that's been soaked into that, that material. I figured out a way to make them where they, they're cheap and you can use them for just for decoration purposes only, basically. When I do my pack mounts, I always put a, a bag at the bottom of them, uh, similar to what you'd have you know, back in the day to throw all your meat in to pack out on your back. What I've got is, is this is a, a canvas drop cloth. You can buy these things at, at just about any hardware store. They make them at a bunch of different sizes. I always just get the biggest one they've got because I, I have to make a bunch of these things and it's just cheaper that way. But what we've done is, Christy has actually taken some of this and cut it to size and got on her sewing machine and actually stitched it up and created a bag out of it. And you can do those different sizes, you know, depending on what, what kind of size you want. What we're gonna do, we're gonna melt some wax. I've got beeswax and I've got paraffin wax. And the ratio on that you use, just one to one. Use the uh, same amount of both kinds. What I've got is just an old metal pan that I, I use and I melt it down in this. You don't wanna turn it up very high. I've, just, I've got that on a low, about a three out of 10 setting on the stove. You don't want to burn your wax. You just wanna melt it. And as that wax melts, once it gets completely melted, you just keep it stirred up to where it's equal, equal parts. I always look, keep a little jar to put my stir stick in it where you don't get wax all over everything, especially in the kitchen. My wife would kill me. What we're going to do is we're going to use a brush. And I've just got one of these little chip brushes, a little cheap brush. And uh, we're just going to smear that wax all over this. You want it to actually be wet and, uh, and completely covered. And you're gonna, we're going to do that on both sides. All right, now that we got this wax melted, bring it over here. Make sure you set on some hot pot holders. You don't burn your house down. And what we're going to do is just dip this in here and almost just slop it out onto this, this canvas. You're not going to be able to like paint it on like paint. It's just going to soak in immediately. But you want to get enough on there to where there's not any dry spots. It just needs to look, you know, like it's like it's been wet the entire way of the bag there. <laughs> Okay, now this wax is gonna dry fairly quickly. So after it's gotten dry for just a second, you don't wanna burn yourself, but wait for it to cool just enough where you can, you can touch it. Go ahead and peel this open. That's, I mean, of course, if you're making a bag, I mean, you're making bag or a, a purse or a pouch or anything like that, this stuff goes through this material. You can see on the inside where all that wax is soaked through and it'll stick this together. All right, once the wax starts to harden, once it starts to turn white, you need to get you a heat gun. I believe this one is a 1200 watt. It's got a high and low setting. You can buy these, it's just a low setting if I'm not mistaken. I like to use the high setting on this. As you're doing this, you're gonna want that wax to melt and it's gonna get a sheen to it. Keep on heating it until that sheen goes away. Once it does, that means the wax has gone completely through the fabric and that's what's going to give you the look that you want and this may take a second and also may take two or three times of flipping the bag over and letting the wax dry and seeing if you've got any spots on there you need to continue with if you've got places that look white it's not done yet once you get completely done it will all be a uniform color I'll show y'all like right here where it's where it's white see we're starting to get shiny Once you heat that enough, the shine is gonna go away. It's just gonna melt and go all the way down through. You can see now the shine's starting to go away. That's what you wanna do to the whole bag.
that's pretty much got the whole bag looking right. Y'all can see there's not any white spots on it. It's pretty much one universal color. Now we're going to take it outside. And I'm just going to hang it up. A little nail out here. And we're going to let that dry for just a little bit. You don't want it to sit up there and dry too awful long because once it completely gets stiff and hardens, it's going to be in the shape that it was when you hung it. So once it once it starts to, to dry just a little bit, you can actually move it around. It's good to go ahead and take it off wherever you hung it and kind of stand it up, put it in the, the shape that you want it, and then stand it up and let it let it finish drying. All right, guys, y'all check this out. It's been about, I don't know, three minutes maybe, where it's been sitting it up there kind of drying. As y'all can see, it's all just about one color. What you can do is, when you go to make this into the shape you want, like mine is actually going to be folded over on the top right here. And it's going to be expanded. I'm going to have it stuffed full of, of stuff to make it make it look bigger. But if you if you watch, you take this and crunch it, open it back up. See these lines it puts in it, like that right there. It'll make it look just like an old piece of oil cloth. All right. Well, anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed that. Thought that was pretty cool. Thought I'd share it with y'all. So I had to make one anyway. Like I said I use those for my pack bags, but if I mean there's probably a bunch of different craft ideas you could do with that too if you wanted to make some decorations for your houses or whatever it's just a cool look you know and it's easy to do but anyway we'll see y'all next time thanks for watching